Yeah, we have a sad, sad story, like we be saying. Um, we have two teens found murdered. Two teens found murdered. And I think they was both 14 years old. Here we go. I didn't know that they was two young boys at the age. They, they the same age like my grandson. A tragic story on the south side with two young lives taken by gun violence. Police tonight are still working to figure out what led to the two 14-year-olds being shot dead in an alley this weekend. There's a lot to sort out. Nate Rogers is live now with the story. Nate. That's right, Dawn and Scott. A lot to sort out indeed as police are not releasing a lot of official details just yet. We know that this was a very brazen shooting happening in broad daylight on yesterday. Authorities still trying to find, find the gunmen involved. These gunmen don't even care. Again, like they're shooting in broad daylight. They care nothing about it. Again, no one is being held accountable. People are not being held accountable. Us as law enforcement, we is arresting people, but as soon as they go to court, they being re-released. They being let out. Damn it, their bonds is being decreased and letting them out to get back into to your community so they can knock off more people. Hey, shout out to Adelia for the, for the, for the one dollar rumble rant. You say I'm not even gonna lie, Willie. My phone froze and went and and when it unfroze. That was on my screen. They say, what did I just buy? <laughs> she say, I'm getting tired of this damn app. That's what's up. <laughs> listen, listen, just appreciate you being around here. Damn it, these doggone phones. After this shooting stop, uh, I looked out the back door. Then when I went back there, I seen the, the, the boy's body was laying on the ground. White sheets covering the bodies of two 14-year-olds, brutally shot and killed, lying in an alley. Their names were Shot Dorsey and Dakari Womack. Shot Dorsey, Shot Dorsey, I think that's how you say it, and, and Jakaya Womack, I think. He said Dr. Umar just lost two students. Really shot and killed, lying in an alley. Their names were Shot Dorsey and Dakari Womack. Shot Dorsey and Rikari Womack. Look at the faces. Two 14 year olds gone. Hmm? It's a shame. Oh, look at this one now, Brian's about 14 to 15 years of age. We're just trying to steal the neighbor's vehicle out of the alley. According to sources, police received a call that four men were trying to break into a resident's vehicle. After being confronted, the men ran into the alley. Witnesses told police they heard gunshots immediately after. My daycare child was walking out the door when the shooting was going on. And thank God that, you know, nothing didn't happen to her. Cars were putting a mail down by cops in the alley, bleeding from the head. There's also a set of mail laying underneath the vehicle. It happened just before 2.30 p.m. at 89th and Cottage Grove Sunday. The crime scene was filled with more than 30 bullet casings there are at least three child care businesses located in the immediate area neighbor if there's three child care businesses lo located in the immediate area that tells us that y'all babies be pushing out these <laughs> babies y'all monkeys is working properly out here in these street y'all got so many kids in the community that they have three daycare centers <laughs> damn they're on the same block nancy johnson is calling for more police patrols I mean, it's three daycares over here, and it's thing like that. We don't have no protection when we get to walk out this door. You know, we just, it's on, we on our own. And all we have to do is pray. That's all we can do. As said, we own our own. All we can do is pray. Do y'all understand by her saying there's nothing we can do and all that we can do is pray? She's even telling you that prayer is not enough. Prayer ain't working. I know, I know, Willie, but she didn't say that. The way that she said that, Hold on, I'm gonna let her say it herself. There are at least three child care businesses located in the immediate area. Neighbor Nancy Johnson is calling for more police patrols. I mean, it's three daycares over here. And it's thing like that, we don't have no protection when we get to walk out this door. You know, we just, it's on, we on our own. And all we have to do is pray, that's all we can do. We own our own and pray, that's all we can do. She know that they're praying ain't working because they been praying. Doc, you folk been praying. Prayers ain't working. You have to protect yourselves. Ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming. I do understand you all both. Y'all belief system. I get all that. Ain't nobody coming. You have to protect you. I don't know 
how many more years is gonna take for us to really understand ain't nobody coming to hell? As detectives review surveillance footage from nearby cameras, neighbor Katira Doley is outraged, saying senseless violence impacts us all, and therefore we should all be a part of the solution. So we guilty. Blood is on our hands too. And it's not okay. And I'm sick of talking about it and not doing anything about it. So what are we gonna do? Sick of talking about it. But listen, haven't I told y'all about this right here? When you have your money in the game, when you got a foot in the door, when you got the, damn it, when you is in the community, when you paying taxes and property taxes, your whole mindset shift. Now, I'm not saying that you have to, um, I'm not saying that in order for your mind to shift, you need to, um, be invested in the community. You do not, not all the time. There are some people who is not invested who actually do care about the community, but that's a small goddamn few. But when you invested in the damn community, you want the BS to actually get from around them. When you're doing business, you want the BS to get from around you. She's a business owner and she's sick of it. She's sick of the youth being killed and she's a business owner. This was violence impacts us all, and therefore, we should all be a part of the solution. So we guilty. Blood is on our hands, too. And it's not okay. And I'm sick of talking about it and not doing anything about it. So what are we going to do? The, the best thing we could do is tell. Anonymously. At this hour, police have not confirmed if those two 14-year-olds were alleged to have participated in the attempt at carjacking. Our attempts to reach the 14-year-old's family were unsuccessful. No suspects are in custody at this time. We're live outside CPD headquarters, 35th in Michigan. I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Fox 32, that's what's up. Appreciate that right there. Shout out to Gino for becoming a monthly member. Appreciate that right there. Show enough, show enough. Until we take the community back, the community will continue to take us out. Hmm? Your kids will continue to be targets and will continue to be killed. And we will continue to bury the youth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing is going to change. You can pray. We've been praying decades after decades, centuries. We've been praying. You, you still dying. You been praying, you still dying. Huh? So it don't work. It don't work if God has a plan and God is a, God is a non-changing God. Pray all day. It's not in God's plan. It's not going to change. Period. Point blank. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much. Hold